Hello and welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have been watching and subscribing and commenting and liking, I really can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. It's really wonderful. Thank you. So today what we're going to do is to calibrate a couple lenses. I just purchased a 20X lens and a 60X lens from Modic. And what I need to do now is calibrate the software that I use to view the images from the MU503B camera. And this calibration allows us to do some wonderful things, such as we can measure the lengths of objects, measure the widths of objects, we can measure areas, we can include scale bars. So what is this calibration? Well, the software inherently measures everything in pixels. So the process of calibration involves basically telling the computer how many microns are within a pixel. And we do that for each of the lenses that we're going to use. What we're going to need to do this procedure is a calibration slide. This calibration slide came with the Amscope MU503B camera. But if you don't have one, you can probably get one in a microscope supply company or even Amazon. So what is this slide? Well, it is a ruler. And this ruler has very fine demarcations. From one line to the next, the distance is 0.01 millimeters equal to 10 microns. So the first thing we will do before we start the calibration procedure is to set the digital zoom to 100%. Now that is set, just make sure we're in best focus we can get. Now we go over to the right hand corner and we see this icon, this is the calibrate icon and we're going to click on this. And what we see the calibrate window comes up. I'm gonna move that to the side and then we get this line and this line we will position accordingly. Now the reason that I suggest that you set the calibration software to 100% before opening up the calibration software is that if you're not set at 100%, the computer will tell you. And then when you go up to set it to 100%, this line may fall outside of the screen. So I suggest setting the digital zoom to 100% first. That ensures that when you open the calibration procedure, the line is on the screen and you are able to access both ends. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just position this line. And I'm gonna to choose to position the line right at the bottom of the demarcation. And then I want to draw the longest line I can. Okay, the reason I want to draw the longest line as possible is that we will inherently make some error when we position the end of the line. The longer the line is, the smaller this error will be as a percentage of the total length. So to minimize the amount of error in the calibration, what I'm doing is drawing the longest line possible. Now I'm just making sure that the line I've drawn is right under the demarcations. I also want to make sure that the line is perfectly perpendicular to the demarcations in the calibration slide. So that looks pretty good. So I have a line of 609.24 pixels. Now I am going over to the calibration window and I'm going to tell it what magnification I'm using. I'm using the 20X lens at the moment. Now it asks me to put in the actual length. I'm going to choose the units of micrometers or microns, and then I will put in the actual length. So I've gone one line here, two lines, three lines. Ultimately, when I get down to the bottom, I will have counted 13 lines. So this line that I've drawn is 130 microns. So I'll just enter that in here.
Then I click OK, and we are calibrated. So now we've put the 60x lens in place, and let's do the calibration procedure for this one as well. So first, we check the digital zoom that's set to 100%. And now I'm going to go to the Calibrate tool and move the window off to the side. And I am going to draw my line. There we go. I'm going from the bottom of this line here to the bottom of this line here, doing my best to place this. I'm drawing the line once again right next to the demarcations so that I can see that the line I've drawn is perpendicular to the demarcations. And so I've got a line here. It might be a little long there. Okay, that's about the best I can do. So now I'm going to choose the magnification. You'll see it doesn't say 60 times, but all you have to do is enter in 60x. Now, I'm asked to put in the actual length. I'm going to do this in microns. And the actual length is, let's see, one, two, three, four of these divisions. Each division is 10 microns. So I've got 40 microns in length. Click OK, and we're all set. Now what we might want to do is confirm that our lenses actually are calibrated. I'm going to go back to the 20x lens. And I'm going to use the line tool, which is here. And I'm going to draw a line. The first thing I will have to do, though, is to change this to 20x. That will tell the computer that I'm currently using the 20x objective and to apply the right formula. All right, click on the line. I've got three options. This one can draw a line at any angle. This one will draw a line perfectly left, right. This line will draw lines perfectly up and down. So I'll choose the first. And I will draw a line that is 100 microns long. There we are, it spans 10 of these units, and the distance it gives me is 99.47. If you want to move that number, you can choose the selector tool here, then simply grab on that and move it over there. So it looks like this calibration is working very well. All right, let's check out the 60X lens. Okay, there's the 60X lens. I am going to use the selector tool to click on the line that I previously drawn and delete it. And then of course, I'm going to change this setting to 60X. Now the computer knows that I'm using the 60X lens. I will take my line function and I will draw a line. This line I'm drawing is three demarcations. So one, two, three, each one is 10 microns. So we have a line here that is 29.85 microns. So very good indeed. So the next question is, what if I have an object that is really too large for the 100X digital zoom? What if I want to zoom out? Well, you can certainly do that using the digital zoom. Now, I'm at 33%. Now I'll go to the line tool, select my line, and I will draw a line from here down to here. And this tells me this line is 109.89 microns. Does that make sense? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11 demarcations. So indeed, this should be 110 microns long. So again, it looks like the software is working out well. So you might be interested in putting a scale bar into your pictures. And so we can go up this icon, which is a scale bar icon. And let's say I'll draw a scale bar of 100 microns long. Click OK. And there is the line. Now I'm just going to rotate my camera so to turn this about 90 degrees to see if indeed this line is 100 microns long. So I can move it there and it is certainly very close. Um, there's a little error there, but then again, there is always error because we are humanly placing the lines when we do the calibration. It would be nice if the calibration involved multiple steps, such as drawing the lines three times, for example. That would give a more precise line. But this particular software only has a one-step calibration, so it's not going to be as perfect as it would be if we had a multi-step calibration. I hope this was all very helpful and you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like to like or subscribe, I'd really appreciate that too. Thank you very much for watching.